I'm Dr. David Ortiz. I work at Duke University and I take care of patients with kidney disease. Today, I would like to briefly talk to you about how lupus can affect your kidneys. Lupus is an autoimmune disease associated with an inflammatory process that can affect any organ, including the kidneys. People with lupus are much more likely to have kidney disease than people who do not have lupus. And approximately 60% of patients with lupus have some form of kidney abnormalities. When lupus affects the kidneys, it causes a specific type of inflammation and damage known as lupus nephritis. The chances of someone to develop lupus nephritis or kidney disease due to lupus varies, and it highly depends on the region of the world, race, and ethnicities. Persons from Latino descent are a particular high risk. Latinos not only have a higher incidence of lupus nephritis, which is roughly estimated to be around 40 to 45 percent, but also tend to develop kidney disease earlier than other ethnic groups. Despite advances in treatment, Latinos have been reported to have poorer outcome, including progression to renal failure and need for dialysis. A common question that I get asked in clinic a lot is, what are the symptoms of lupus nephritis? Well, common symptoms include swelling, usually around the ankles and legs, but also can affect hands and face, particularly around the eyes. Other important features could be the presence of high blood pressure. Some patients may note changes in the urine. This could be uh, described as a foamy urine that looks like beer, or a darker urine, darker color. The amount of urine can also be less than usual in severe cases. So people can come to me and say, I, I, am, I am urinating or peeing significantly less. Other non-very specific symptoms include fatigue and feeling very sleepy and also decreased appetite. Now, it is important to mention, though, that, that some patients may have lupus affecting the kidneys, but they can present completely asymptomatic. If untreated, lupus nephritis can, can, uh, can cause significant complications, including complete failure of the kidney function, which leads to the need of dialysis. So to prevent this, it is imperative to diagnose lupus nephritis in a timely manner. If you have lupus, your healthcare provider should check your blood and urine regularly to make sure there is no evidence of inflammation in the kidneys. Signs that lupus may be affecting your kidneys could be the presence of blood or protein in the urine or a rapid elevation in the blood of creatinine, which is a marker of kidney function. If any of these are present, you should be referred to a kidney specialist, also known as a nephrologist, and eventually the definitive diagnosis could be made uh, you doing a kidney biopsy. If you have lupus or lupus nephritis, Besides keeping a close eye on your kidney function and kidney labs, like I just mentioned, it is also important to make sure that your blood pressure is at goal. And we recommend at goal as close to 120 over 80 as possible. We also recommend a healthy diet uh, that consists mostly of low sodium or low salt and high in vegetables and fruits. And we recommend to exercise regularly. You should also pay attention to other risk factors for kidney disease, such as diabetes or hypertension or high blood pressure. And if those are present, this needs to be treated and managed accordingly. So now you know, lupus can affect your kidneys and it can cause significant complications, but hopefully with a quick monitoring and quick referral to a nephrologist, we can prevent those uh, renal complications. Thank you.